Once again, here on a sleepy Tuesday, September 11th, the trail's quite busy. This is the parking lot. Note all the cars. There's the trailhead where it continues to the north. This begins, it's the northern edge of what I call the midsection. We have a trailhead off to Fawn Lake over this way where I suspect some people are fishing. The trail runs down this way. And there's a whole network of trails that wind their way around the pond. This is one of Bedford's pride and joy features. It's a little kettle hole pond, maybe about half or a third the size of Walden. But it was significant enough to be the focal point of the little recreational spots that the narrow gauge railway served. That was its purpose. It was carrying people from the city out to these little resting grounds. A very early mid 19th century precursor to resorts. We have a chipmunk. He looks like he's going to attack. He's running up the trail at me. Hi, Mr. Chipmunk. Jeez, your little cheeks are full. Oh, you disappeared. And you have a burrow. Right there. Pretty impressive. There was another chipmunk. I remember from when I lived in Bedford that it has a very high chipmunk and deer density. It's difficult to go anywhere near any patch of woods around Bedford without a soundly administered chipmunk scolding. So here we have Little Fawn Lake in all its glory. They've been treating it. It's yet another one of these strange problems. They're trying, in order to get it back to where it should have been, before everybody's outwash, detergent slop and whatnot ended up in the water system. They've had to treat it to reduce algae. And it looks like it's been sort of working. I don't really ultimately know how to define a healthy pond, but there certainly is a lot of pond lily action. There certainly is. A lot going on. The water is very clear, and the fact that there are things happily growing in it is a good sign. There's a trail system that kind of runs a ring around the pond. Again, I'm not going to explore it in detail. This is a cursory glimpse. Some nice rhododendrons growing here. Cool sitting stones over here. There's the pond side trail over there. 
And yet another one of these mystery interpretive markers. All in all, I'd say there's some justification in Bedford having pride in the place. It's been with us for quite a while. There's also a charming kiosk. You know I'm a sucker for a kiosk. I have hope to establish the largest photographic archive of nature preserve kiosks that one could possibly find. This particular kiosk is actually pretty useful. We have a very clear and reliable map of the place. It's very helpful. You can see Bueller Ponds, where I just was, right there. And we walked along, that was the Job Lane School we passed, and now we're at Fawn. And this will more or less follow all the way down to Bedford Center. We'll take a glimpse of the York Conservation Area next, and then just get a general sense of the way into Bedford. reading of the rules. Fawn Lake is Bedford's most popular conservation area, so don't mess it up. Don't dump your trash here. Thank you, with an exclamation point. And really, they're, they have some of the most meager and good-natured rules you've run across. Keep your cars and other motorized stuff out of here. It ain't for drinking, no hunting, don't dump trash here, and if you're gonna make fires or camp, you need a permit. How about that? A little old, charming and harmless Bedford Conservation Commission. And they even give you a summary of what they'll do to you if they catch you with one of your stupid motorized noise things on these trails, which are beloved of joggers, strollers and bicyclists, even here, children. 